is racks All I want is dough All I need is you Can you call my phone? Everybody know my name Yo, hello Rever here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the 3D ring text you guys saw in the beginning and uh, yeah if you guys want to support me I have a website where you can buy some editing packs so feel free to check that out but yeah let's get right into this so the first thing we are going to do is to make a text layer and uh, type whatever we want our 3d text to say i'm just going to select the text tool here and then press here boom and i'm going to make it say spinning boom just like that and when you do this effect i would recommend to use a little longer uh, name or word you wanted to say because otherwise it would look kind of weird Make it a little bit more tighter, just like that. And the font I'm using is Acura Expanded. So yeah, I'm gonna hide that now. And uh, you're going to make a solid layer, which I have already done here. And uh, here we're going to add Element 3D, just like that. And here we're going to open up custom layers and then custom text and masks and choose spinning or whatever your text says. And then we're going to open up scene setup. And here you're gonna wanna press extrude, just like that. And uh, you're going to go to presets here, bevels, physical, and then go down to pro black. Double click, pretty, pretty clean in my opinion. And uh, I'm just going to increase the bevel size to 10. Much better in my opinion. So that's the settings I'm going to be using. So yeah, uh, when you're done here, uh, you're going to press OK. So now we're going to rotate our text. So you're going to open up group one, particle look, particle rotation. And here I'm going to increase this to 41 degrees. And then on the Y rotation, 303. And then on the Z rotation, 38. Looks pretty weird now, but when we bend it, it's going to look a lot better. So now you're going to open up D form and then bend here already opened it here but yeah bend and press enable and the bend direction is going to be 90 and the bend angle we might have to adjust something like that will be good so 358 just to have a little gap between the letters and then press center here so yeah, use these settings here, these settings here. And now after this, we are going to animate this a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do here is to open a particle replicator and then rotation. And we're going to start at zero with minus 56 on the Y rotation and then press the clock. And you're going to go to five seconds, which is how long our animation is going to be. Drag this one whole lap here and then one more and stop at 305 so this is how it looks now so yeah now we are done with the animation basically and the last little touch here i'm going to do is open our render settings ambient occlusion enable ao increase it to 50 just to get a more realistic shadow here and now we are going to duplicate this text there. You can rename it to ring text, boom. And then duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D. And here we're going to add a effect called edge detect, just like that. And here we are going to decrease the edge smoothness to zero and use mono edges as the effect here and increase the threshold to 0 0.66, just like that. And then add a deep glow radius 575 just like that and then decrease the threshold to zero and now you're going to change the blending mode to add so it looks something like this now instead looks pretty pretty clean and we're going to duplicate this text here so you press ctrl d once again and dra drag this one underneath both of these and change the blending mode to normal and you can minimize these effects here. And then we're going to add some more effects here. And the first effect we're going to add is called Wave Warp. And you can hide these 3 text above the, this one so we can see. And here I'm going to change it to Uncircle and 493 on the wave height. Wave width is going to be 32, something like that. And now we're going to add Fast Box Blur. And I'm going to increase the blur radius to 145. So we get this gray shadow here looks pretty clean and then add flickers to this and change the random color amp amplitude to one 
so it's flickering between different colors in the background pretty pretty clean you can minimize those and now i'm going to make the background a little bit bigger so i'm going to increase it to 178 this looks much better in my opinion now the text actually affects the background a little bit it looks like and i always like to spice it up a little bit more so i'm going to add a overlay from one of my editing packs for this this overlay is from my 3d text pack if you guys want to check it out change the blending mode here to screen and we're going to have some lightnings here and I wanted to match the whole uh, animation here, which is black and white. So I'm going to add HUE and the saturation, just like that. And then drag down the saturation to minus 100, just like that. Looks pretty, pretty clean. And then to match the background a little bit, I'm going to add a flicker to this as well. And I'm just going to use the default settings here. And for a finishing touch, you guys can add motion blur to this by pressing there just like that uh, but yeah so if you guys yeah enjoyed this tutorial uh, please leave a like and subscribe check out my website uh, where you can get this lightning overlay from my editing pack if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials i can make please comment that down below in the youtube comments or dm me on my socials but yeah i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day